In this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to build this content repurposing automation flow that is very, very simple, but it's very effective. See, this triggers whenever you publish a blog, we scrape your blog's content, and then, this is the critical step, we send this to ChatGPT to get repurposed correctly for a LinkedIn post, and then it gets published for LinkedIn. And this is the difference with most of others, the content generation automations, is because they will either copy and paste part of the blog, or simply try and rewrite it and incentivize the user to go from LinkedIn to the blog post to read more, such like, did you know X, Y, and Z to read more, go to our blog, which is not the right way to grow on these other social media accounts like LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and even TikTok, because those platforms don't like it when you incentivize people off the platform. So we want to repurpose this content to add value to the reader within the platform. So you grow your following, increasing your chances of becoming the topical authority figure within your niche, adding authority to your brand or to your business, and then users will naturally come to your website, which is what you want. You don't want to kind of force them to read the information, but on my website only. We find that with this simple growth strategy, we grow not only all that, not only the social media accounts, but we add authority to the brand in a really nice, simple, and automated way, which is the whole thing. If you don't know who I am, my name's Nico. I'm an AI powered SEO expert, but I run an online community which is absolutely free. It's called the AI Ranking Hub. We're at 99 members, you can join it, and we teach people there all you need to know about AI powered search engine optimization and how to do automations that help you do 99% of the work for you when it comes to SEO and ranking. And this automation is actually a part of a very long tutorial that we have in our classroom. This is the content automation Kickstarter that takes you all the way from generating content at high quality and at high quantity, meaning a lot of blogs, 15 blogs within five minutes, so that your blog content is sorted and then the automation is sorted as well. If you want to learn how to do that, I suggest you join the AI ranking community. I'll leave links in the video resources below and everything, anything that I speak about will be available in the community as well. That's enough of that. Let's get started right away. The main platform that we use to create these automations is called Make, the automation software. If you don't know Make, it's relatively easy to get started on it, but I'm going to assume that you've made an account. And if you haven't made an account, you can check our community to how to do that. You can create an account with Make using a link in the video description below as well. Once you're on here on Make, you're not gonna have any active scenarios here, or you might do if you've got Make already, but we're gonna go to Create Scenario. And this is gonna be a few step process, and we're gonna need a additional tools that are for free, or at least the free version is more than enough for what we need at the moment. The only thing that you will need to pay for is API call credits from OpenAI, but I'll show you how to get all the stuff that you need for that. So the first thing that we're gonna need is the RSS feed, and we're gonna go to the watch RSS feed item. If you can't find this module, you simply search for it going RSS feed, and we're going to type in this one, or click in this one, sorry, watch the RSS feed items. And then it'll ask you for a URL and the maximum number of return items. So we need to create an account on the RSS feed app. We go to RSS feed, this URL here, which you will have in the link in the description below. And for the free version, yours will say 15 free feeds, which is more than enough for what you need to do here. What I want you to do is find your blog link to the, your website or whichever website that we are using this automation on and go to the main blog page, not the individual blog URL, but the main blog page itself. It should be your website forward slash blogs or news or whatever you've got that set as. I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna go back to the RSS feed generator and I'm going to paste the URL in here and just go generate. If the website is set up correctly, you should see this, which is the, which is what we wanna see because if we remember the blog names here, understanding bloat in dogs, for example, and then uh, we go back to the blog itself, the home blog page, we see that here is the blog that we are referring to, which is fantastic the first part of this automation will be working. We're going to save this, saving this feed. And this is what we're gonna reference in the first module. You can rename it by going edit because you're probably gonna start creating a lot more of these automations once you do this, because this is a lot of fun and easy to do. We're gonna name it ethical dog 
blog. This is a business all about how to uh, train your dog correctly, a business based in Melbourne. I'm going to save it. And this link here, when it says your feed is ready, that's what we want to do. Go back to make and put that URL in there. The maximum number of return items will leave as it is and go okay. Now to test this out, we're going to go to all RSS feed items and go okay. And we're going to run this one to ensure that our automation is working. And it is, the what we really wanna see is the output bundle uh, here. And we look at the items that it's given us, the title of the blog, perfect. And what we're gonna use here though is the URL in the next sequence. Now, there are a lot of ways that you can call the data from a blog, either with a webhook or any other scraping method. This is just a really simple and idiot-proof way to do it because I tend to be a bit of a Muppet and the free version is more than enough and there's very other little fluffing about that I need to do. It does it all for me. I want to minimize the amount of coding that I need to do. The next module is going to be Scraptio. And again, there's a lot of ways that I can scrape the website's content, but Scraptio just makes it so easy. And the free version allows me to scrape a website 30 times for free a month, which is more than enough. That's like a scrape a day, which is perfect for this situation. I'm going to use scrape websites text. Now, I've already got my connection here, but you won't have a connection. What you need to go is go to Scraptio, make an account. It is free for what we're trying to do. We're going to sign in, you're going to make an account. And then what you'll see is a very similar home page with the only difference is that you won't have an API key, but you will have to add a new key and you name it. If I were you, I would name it make so that you know where this key is going. Create, and then we're going to copy that key there. Don't lose it because you won't see that key again. This is the API key. We're going to copy it and then we're going to go back to our automation and it'll ask you in the little dialog box to put the API key there. And that's where you'll place it. Once you've done that, it should look like this now, your scrap to your module. And where it says a website to scrape, we're going to click on that and then it's gonna give us all the items which we can reference from the previous module, meaning the RSS feed. And we're gonna look here. I don't want the title of the description. I want the URL and that's it. The URL of the link there, perfect. I'm going to go to okay. I'm going to save it with this button. Always a really good habit to start getting into. And now I'm going to run this whole thing again. With the RSS feed, you kind of need to tell it where to start from all the time. So I'm gonna choose the RSS feed in all items, go okay, and then I'm going to run it, and then it'll run the sequence again. And perfect, now it seems that the Scraptio, the scraping of my blog is working. And if I click the number one button there, it's gonna show me the output that it's generated. I see the input, and the input was the website URL, perfect, but I want the data output, and that's the text, that's the content of the blog itself. Perfect, we are getting there. So now the next module that we're going to call is ChatGPT, but you don't in fact call ChatGPT, you call OpenAI, which is this one right here, but if you can't see it because you haven't used it before, you type in OpenAI, you type in show more, and we're going to select this one, create a chat completion. You could message an assistant, if you've built an assistant in your playground in the back end, if you don't know how to do that, we have a whole tutorial on how to master the playground for OpenAI in our premium community as well. It's only $20, $27 a month for now. You can join that. But for now, all we're going to do is just uh, create a chat completion. It's going to ask you if you haven't made the connection for OpenAI, for your API key for OpenAI, and for your uh company ID. I'll show you quickly where to get those things if you haven't got them already. Once you log into your OpenAI account, I'll log in with my email. To get your API key, you're going to go to dashboard and API keys, and then you're going to create a new API key up here. You're gonna name it, for example, make, create a new secret key. It'll pop up much like it did with the Scraptio, and you're gonna save that because you won't see it again. So you're gonna save that API key. 
that's where you're going to place where it says API key. And the, for the organization ID, you'll need to go back to your playground platform. You go to your settings menu at the top and the organization ID is right there. You'll have to paste that in a little setting where it says to do so. Once you've done all that and you make sure that you've got some credits for your API. So here, for example, in billing, I've got some credit balance, $96. Make sure you've got some. To create the rewriting of this that we're using ChatGPT for, we're going to use less than a cent, I believe. So that'll be more than enough. You can put $10 in there and that's okay. We're gonna go back to here. The selector method we're gonna leave as created chat completion. The model we're gonna use ChatGPT 4.0 Mini. Why mini? It's a bit cheaper and it's smart enough to do what we're asking it to do. The next thing that we're going to do is go into messages. The role we're going to use as a user because we're using this as a user. And this is where the most important thing comes in, going the message, meaning our prompt. The prompt that we use is relatively simple. If you go to the AI Ranking Free community, in step three, you'll see the prompt that we're using here. You can simply copy that and use this in the automation like we're doing now. So it's just telling ChatGPT to act as a copywriting expert and telling it that it's going to receive a blog. It needs to extract the important things out of that blog and rewrite it into an engaging LinkedIn post that's about 200 words in length. And then once you've pasted that, prompt in there below blog content we're going to write there we're going to select the data from Scraptio that's going to add the contents of our blog and finally the max tokens you can leave as 1000 we probably don't need that many and it won't use 1000 if it doesn't have to but I like to get a give it a lot of leeway if it needs the tokens to do so I'm gonna go okay and the last thing I'm gonna do in this module is right click it and rename it. You want to rename it because once you start creating long automations, which I hope you start, it'll get a little bit confusing in terms of which one you're calling and what they do. So in this instance, we're gonna go linked in rewriter. So I know once I click okay, that's what it does. Okay, perfect. So now I'm nearly there. I'm going to save this again. And then I'm going to, again, right click my RSS feed, go choose where to start, all RSS feed items and okay. I'm going to run this once. This module is working, the Scrapio seems to be working and if we've done everything correctly, it seems that our LinkedIn rewriter is working. We're gonna check the output of the ChatGPT here by clicking on the one. And this one's a little bit more hidden. You need to go into choices, number one, message and then the content itself and here is my blog my LinkedIn post sorry that's been repurposed from the blog post and if we look at it quickly uh, by opening up a brand new Google Doc we can see here that it's telling people to share your experiences and tips below which is what you want you want to give them the tips for example of how to prevent bloating in dogs, which I never knew was a thing. And then you want to in, try and get the conversation going. That's the whole thing about this and what makes these automations a lot better. I highly encourage you to make the prompt that we placed in the automation yours. You need to test this prompt out and test the output. That's what's gonna make really your content your own. Okay, we've done that. Now the final thing to do is connect this to our LinkedIn account. Pressing the plus button to add another module, we're gonna search for LinkedIn and we're going to show more. Now, for this instance, because I wanna keep it nice and simple, we're just going to create a user text post. You could essentially download the image from the feature image of the blog and then use that as the image for the blog for their LinkedIn content, but we won't complicate things for now. We'll just leave it as it is. It'll ask you to connect your LinkedIn account. I'll leave you to do that. It's fairly simple to do so. Once you've created the connection inside the content box, you're going to select the result box from the previous module, which is our LinkedIn module, where our ChatGPT module here, sorry. So you can see if I delete this, if I hover over the result, the LinkedIn rewriter is gonna start pulsating because that indicates that that's the one that we're selecting. So that's the result I want. 
I'm not going to mention anyone. The media type I'll leave as it is, but you can make articles, by the way, just so you know. The main feed is fine. And then we are going to go OK. Perfect. I'm going to save this once again. Now I'm going to go to your LinkedIn to my LinkedIn account because I want to show you the before and after of this. If I look at my LinkedIn account, the last post the last post was five days ago, and it was about me trying Laura. So we're going to keep an eye on that. We're going to go back to our automation. That's all good and set to go. I've saved it. I'm going to choose where to start here, all RSS feed items, and go run once. And hopefully, if I've done everything. It worked, but it didn't in this instance, and I'm happy that this has happened so I can show you how to troubleshoot this thing. LinkedIn is a bit funky. We sometimes need to add the connection again because it was a uh, fail to connect to the LinkedIn connection. I think I've been doing this a little bit too much lately. I'm gonna change the connection and see if that'll work. And it looks like that was all right. That was the same connection, just called a different name. And perfect, it looks like everything's worked. I'm gonna go back to my LinkedIn account and just refresh this page and go back to the activities where my post should be. And now you see that I've got the latest post, which is all about the dogs. And I don't write about blog, about dogs, so you know that that's where it came from, from the automation. If you don't like the, um, the hashtags and everything else that it has, you can state that to take it out, it's not included within the prompt that we created before. And that's where you change all of that there. But I like the emojis and I like how it's sorted out, but I'm just gonna delete this because I don't write about dogs and I don't train dogs. You're nearly there. Well done for making it this far. The only other thing that you need to do is to set when you're going to trigger this, when you're going to run this. And if you hit the little, uh, watch icon here, it'll show you when to run the scenario. Now you need to think a little bit here. Let's say you publish your blog posts in the morning every weekday. I know that, okay, I need to run every days of the week. Uh, I'm gonna select all and I'm gonna, sure, post it or run this at 5.30 because I know that I publish my blogs in the morning. So then when I run this, it'll select the newest blog post instead of one that I've repeated before. That's something that you really want to be careful of. And that is pretty much it. Again, we show you the previous step of this automation in our online community where we help you write high quality blogs with a tool that we use called Machine AI and how to join all of this together. Really, really simple but powerful automation. You can check that out in the description below. If you like this sort of video, make sure you leave me a little subscribe and a like button. And if there's anything that you want to see in particular with automations, particularly related to content generation and SEO, let me know in the comments below and I'd love to build that out for you. Cheers.